Hey, Daniel, thank you for being a, a surprise guest and, and jumping on us with us, man. We really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, you, you were requested by, by some media members. We, I wanted to ask you, um, obviously, look, two things. Did you hear the uh, the comments made by the Miami quarterback saying that, hey, we're confident, we feel like we can move the ball to these guys based off what happened last year? And if so, what kind of motivation, if any, does that give you guys uh, heading to Miami this weekend? What we'll comment? Um, Tyler Van Dyke, the quarterback, was like, uh, we you know we scored 44 of those guys last year. They're the same guys, so we're pretty confident. Like we don't think they can stop us. He said that to the media in Miami. That's interesting. You know, well, last year's last year. You know, every year's a new year. It may be the same guys, but you know, I know this team's pissed off for greatness. Simple as that. And, you know. For us, it's a matter of just handling what we got to handle and make sure that we handle our daily, you know, you know, goals and aspirations and make sure we handle what we got to handle on a daily basis. You know, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks or says or does. At the end of the day, if we handle our, if we control the controllables and control what, what God has put in our plates, you got it. <laughs> David. So you really hadn't heard that yet? No, nah, I've heard it. I'm just messing with y'all. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I was messing with y'all. I heard it. Okay. But it didn't add no flair to me because uh, at the end of the day, once again, you know, our our, our mindset here at NG State is, you know what, it's not about them. It's about us. You know, it's been, it's been like that since day one. It's going to maintain and it'll continue that way. You know, you let the opposition say what they want to say. At the end of the day, when the ball's put down, the ball's put down. And, you know, the work and the, and the proof is in the pudding. And, you know, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm preparing for. That's what I'm, you know, that's what we're brewing up. And that's what we're going to try and, you know, make sure we, 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 we come out on Saturday, you know, playing our brand of football and playing the way we know we play. Cool. I, it felt like you were holding something back. I could, I could see it in your face. <laughs> I saw it all y'all face. Y'all just waiting for it. <laughs> Jonas. Yeah, I really bought it. I was like, yeah, he hadn't heard it for real. He's very convincing right now. <laughs> um, but I have a question. I asked Coach Dorn about this on Monday, and I just asked Savion, uh, with you, Savion, Corey, the whole D-line, you guys have just been – the best word has been disruptive. I've been using – you guys have been very disruptive this year. What's been the key to you guys just causing so much havoc in the passing game against the uh, opponents this season? There's unity. I think, you know, we've all kind of learned to just play with each other and play for each other. I think, you know – you know that brotherhood that we that, that we have within that room is 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 tighter than ever and tighter than I've ever experienced because of the fact that there's only so many few guys in that room, so we got to click together. You know, in so much of a I kind of love it. You know, I think you know with us, you know, being able to play for the guy next to you and being able to play with that guy, you know, you you you've gone through shared suffering even just not just on the field but off the field as well. You know, you know just from you know hanging out and those experiences. Um, I think that alone has really been a key factor in, you know, just our ability to really just, you know, do what we do on Saturdays. Does anybody besides Jonas and David have a question? Well, as you guys are over there, quiet over there, you guys can't just join the, join the Zoom and just not ask. Yeah, David. Uh, Daniel, I agree with you. <laughs> All right, Alec, what you got? No, I asked uh, Aiden White the same question, but with Tyler Van Dyke, He's a much different quarterback than De'Aaron King. How does that kind of change the way their offense has worked and how you guys kind of have to approach that? Because he is less mobile and effective in that side of the game. Um, I think just from our from our, from a standpoint of, you know, our mentality on defense, you know, I, I think it, it doesn't change too much. You know, I think, you know, what it, what, it, what it does allow us to do is, you know, still play aggressive and, you know, and, and, and stay that way. You know, we've always been, a, you know, a very aggressive team. We want to play fast and play, you know, downhill. So we're going to. And I assume that's what we're going to do this this Saturday. And they, you know, our head man coach Gibbs is going to make them calls. And whatever he calls, I'm going to I'm going to run execute him, you know, 110 miles an hour. And you know, whatever that may be, if it's you know contain it, contain him, or is it you know get to him, whatever it may be, you know that's going to be you know what's going to be shown on Saturday. David. You know, we've seen how this team's performed. You know, with kind of the underdog tag. Uh, you know, now that there's been more success, you guys are favored in games. Um, you know, what changes for you guys and, and how do you sort of deal with uh, spotlight? Nothing changes. 
You know, it's one thing that you can't do. If you got one foot in the past and one foot in the present, you're pissing on your on, on your or one foot in the past and one foot in the future, pissing on your present. I know for us, you know, it doesn't matter what we've done, you know, in the weeks past, and it doesn't matter who we got, you know, going forward or who's gonna give us respect and not give us respect going forward. And the, the day, you know, we still gotta be that hard, tough, you know, together team that you know we've always been since week one and since way before that. And I think, you know, once again, with whatever it may come down the line, you gotta stay true to that and keep doing that and see where the cards land by by the end of the season. Does anybody else have anything for Danny? 